Hello friends. In this question, by using the properties of definite integrals, we have to evaluate this integral x upon 1 plus sin x dx from the limit 0 to pi. Okay. So let us see how we are going to solve this question. Now to solve this question, first of all, I take this given integral and I assume that this integral is equal to i and mark this as equation number 1. Before starting with any step of solving for this question, first of all, a simple observation which we can make regarding to this question is this that it is a product of two function one is x an algebraic function other one upon one plus sin x a trigonometrical function okay so here it is not a good idea to apply integration by parts okay whenever we have been given a product of two functions which are of different kind altogether we apply the formula of integration by parts okay rather what I'm going to do I'm going to solve in such a manner that I'm going to get an integral to solve which is not going to contain any term of x it is going to have a pure trigonometrical function which would be rather simple to integrate okay so for this I'm going to apply this property fx dx from 0 to a is equal to f of a minus x dx from 0 to a friends whenever you have a lower limit is equal to 0 for any integral always remember this property okay when all property fails this prevails okay now I'm going to apply this property and I'm going to get i is equal to 0 to pi pi minus x upon 1 plus sine of pi minus x dx okay I know that sine of pi minus x is equal to sine x so I'm going to get this as pi upon 1 plus sine x dx from the limit 0 to pi okay next what I'm going to do I'm going to write this definite integral as the sum of two definite integral by dividing separately 1 plus sin x with pi and x so I'm going to get these two definite integrals okay I think there should be no doubt regarding this step but what this step has done is something very nice very cool to us and that is this value 0 to pi x upon 1 plus sin x dx which is equal to i has been obtained in this equation okay and when I write this as equal to i then I have only this definite integral left to be solved so friends always remember whenever we have x in a definite integral so Remember that this x can be removed. Okay, in short. So, this can be written as i. This i goes here. So, I'm going to get 2i is equal to 0 to pi. Pi upon 1 plus sin x dx. Okay. Now, I have to solve this definite integral. To solve this definite integral, the first thing what I'm going to do I'm going to multiply this fraction 1 upon 1 plus sin x with 1 minus sin x and divide it by 1 minus sin x so I'm going to get this as equal to 2i is equal to pi times the limit 0 to pi 1 upon 1 plus sin x into 1 plus 1 minus sin x upon 1 minus sin x dx okay these two multiply to give me 1 minus sine square x so I'm going to get 
2i is equal to pi times 1 minus sin x upon 1 minus sin x square x dx from the limit 0 to pi. This can be written as equal to cos square x. So all the terms remain as it is. Here I have written cos square x. Further, I am going to divide this cos square x separately with 1 and sin x. So I am going to obtain 1 upon cos square x minus sin x upon cos square x and dx of the limits 0 to pi. Okay, that is remaining term as it is. Now, further I can write this sin x upon cos square x as equal to sin x upon cos x into cos x. Remaining terms as it is. Okay, the sin x as it is cos square x is written as cos x into cos x. Now, 1 upon cos square x can be written as sec square x, sin x upon cos x tan x and 1 upon cos x or this cos x can be written as sec x. So I'm going to get 2y is equal to pi times 0 to pi the limits sec square x minus 10x sec x dx. Okay now integration of sec square x is 10x and integration of 10x sec x is equal to sec x. So I'm going to get 2i is equal to pi times 10x minus sec x from the limits 0 to pi. Okay. Or 2i is equal to pi times 10 pi minus sec pi. That is the value of this function for the upper limit and value of 10x minus sec x for the lower limit. Further, 10 pi is equal to 0. Sec pi is equal to minus 1. 10 0 is equal to 0, sec 0 is equal to 1. On solving this will be equal to 1, this 1, so I am going to get this whole bracket solved equal to 2. So I get 2i is equal to 2 pi, this 2 2 cancels out, so I am going to get i is equal to pi, that is my required answer. So this is how we are going to solve this question. To watch more of these super videos and for the latest update, subscribe and like the videos on these YouTube channels HSK Shiksha and Maths Help by HSK. Thank you.